Good morning from the side of the road in Ecuador, heading towards Peru. And welcome to Fairs and Four Wheels tips and advice on how to safely camp, wild camp, and casually camp in, through South America. In our year and a half on the road, we've learned quite a bit about camping. So let's go through the ways that you can camp safely while in South America. Firstly, wild camping. And wild camping refers to camping where on public areas and next to the road and maybe in wildlife areas where it's allowed to camp without paying and with no facilities. So wild camping, while traveling, um, sometimes you just want to pull off the road and pick a quiet spot where there's not too much um, traffic noise and just camp for free. The last night we were traveling south we had to quickly stop and just sleep for the night and we pulled off next to an uh, off turn right next to the road where we camped safely and without being disturbed. Sometimes you would also pull in at a petrol station or fuel station or garage and sleep there. Quickly talk about camping at a petrol station. One of our most used but least favorite camping places in South America. It's close to the highway, so you get on the road quickly. So when we want to cover a lot of distance, we tend to sleep at the petrol station. Advantages is there's normally a toilet, sometimes there's Wi-Fi. It's uh, reasonably safe, it's very accepted. We've only been turned away once at a petrol station in two years while traveling South America. The negatives, it can be very, very noisy because we normally sleep where the trucks sleep. So the trucks start up early in the morning. Um, it's not the cleanest, there's always lots of trash around, um, there's lots of, well, uh, of packs of dogs, especially in Brazil, to look out for around your food, um, but we do it mainly because we sleep next to the road, we get up, we have a coffee, and then we hit the road, and we tend to cover a lot more distances than if we settle in at a campsite and have to pack up a lot of stuff the next morning. So let's go. Another very good wild camping spot through South America is a quarry. Advantages of a quarry is that you can normally be out of sight. You're away from the road so nobody can see you and you will not want to have any traffic noise. We found this great quarry um, in Peru and a few things to watch out for is a water runoff because sometimes it can rain unexpectedly so find a high spot and consider um, where water will gather so that if you need to leave the next morning you're not going to get stuck in mud and um, always park with your nose facing the exit so that if you need to leave very quickly you can um, just jump behind the wheel and drive off. That's just a safety thing for any type of camping that we always practice. Look for fresh um, work. If people are currently working here, you don't want to be woken up very early the next morning by somebody with a big bulldozer coming to uh, work the quarry. So we normally only camp or wild camp in unused quarries. We are talking about wild camping right next to the road. Roads over there. This is the, our least favorite type of wild camp. You are visible from the road. There's a lot of traffic noise if there's traffic. We only camped here last night because we had a very tough drive and we didn't want to drive any further. As you can hear the traffic noise. Um, there's normally, especially in Peru, quite a bit of trash around. Um, trash all, all around and it's the least safe. We will never do this in a city or close to a big city or where there's a lot of traffic. Um, in very rural areas, we find it safe in a pinch. Um, but it's too exposed and too much traffic noise so you, obviously your sleep is impacted by all the noise so in a pinch yes you can wild camp like this but try and avoid it where you can as it's the least safe and the least comfortable and the least pretty 
Another popular choice for camping in South America is public parks where it's mostly accepted. It can be very noisy, especially in Argentina where people party so late, uh, but it's quieter than a petrol station. Huh? And there's normally public toilets during the day, not open at night, um, and it's relatively safe. There's sometimes security and there's lots of light which can be a security <gasps> thing or oil. Sorry to interrupt, but we have to check the oils. We used the app called iOverland mainly to find these campsites. Sometimes we look for them ourselves and we add them to iOverland so that other travelers can um, use the same spot and know that it's been used before and it's safe. Next up, we will talk about campsites and what to expect while traveling through South America. Campsites will typically have a barbecue PowerPoints. The facilities would be normally quite run down and there will be showers in Argentina, hot showers, not in Chile always, um, and shade. Um, they can cost anything between $2 and $10 depending on the situation. Tired facilities but normally hot showers, so if you need a hot shower they are quite a good option. And a bonus tip for camping in big cities. We look for paid parking garages where we can pay for the parking, sleep in a car, and camp quite close to a hostel. And then use the kitchen, Wi-Fi, and the toilets and showers in um, the hostel. And that way we sometimes save a little bit of money. We stay quite close to the center of town and we can walk everywhere. And our car is then secure because parking is quite expensive. So if you can combine your parking cost and your accommodation cost, you may save. This is the second time we're staying here in Cordoba. Um, it's not really cheap, but we know our car is safe. So we spent two days camping over there. The hostel is just uh, 20 meters to the right. But you also get great private campsites. Some with great facilities, but some can be very worn down as well. In popular tourist hotspots, private campsites can be very expensive with great facilities, while others can be expensive and average quality. We spent Christmas in a great campsite in Paralocha, Argentina, but those are rare. Do you have tips about camping in South America? Let us know in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like it and subscribe as it would help other people see the tips and advice. Thank you for watching.